guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Slim Roche here, aka Jasmine, and I'm back to you with another video. So today I'm bringing you guys this nice fall matte makeup look. So if you guys are interested in this video, please keep on watching. Alright guys, so today we are starting off with my favorite primer. This is the Becca Ever Matte Primer, and then I'm also using the NYX Pore Filler just to fill in some of my pores. And then we're using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Butterscotch just to tight line our brows and clean them up. So today we're going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. This is in 410. I'm still not 100% sure which is my exact shade, but we'll work with this one for today. Then we're going in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And this concealer is really good. It brightens up your face and if you let it sit on there just a little bit, it's super full coverage. Then I'm going in with another ColourPop concealer and this is in Deep Dark 54 and I'm just using this to bronze up my face. To set this concealer, I'm using my Sasha Buttercup powder as well as the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And then this is the beautiful eye look that we're creating today and we're using the Tartlet and Bloom palette. I know this is a major throwback, but this palette still smells good. It still works great. So I decided to put it to use to do this nice brown smoky eye. And so we're using like all of the browns in this palette just to make a nice beautiful gradient and you want to just keep blending until you blend it seamlessly then we're using this lighter color on the brow bone and then using the NYX glitter primer on our waterline I did this to make this beautiful yellow pop on my waterline because I really wanted it to make a statement and not only did I do that, but I added Trophy Wife on top of it to make it pop a little bit more. Lastly, we're going in and just doing our inner corner highlight from the Tartlet and Bloom palette and then taking our Kat Von D tattoo liner and just lining our top lid, not nothing too dramatic. And then we're doing our bottom lash line with the CoverGirl Super Size Your Mascara and then we're topping it off with these Icon Lashes and I believe these are in the style Taylor. Then we're going to dust off the excess with my trusty dusty Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and then set that contour with my BH Cosmetics Contour Shade to Light Palette. I think that's what it's called and then we're going to bronze up our face with the Black Radiance Bronze Glow and set it with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. We didn't do any highlighter today because we wanted to do a super matte look and then we're topping it off with this ColourPop Lippy and this Carity um, combo. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I am really digging this eyeshadow and these lashes, honey. If you guys like this makeup look, make sure you drop a yellow heart in the comment section below. And I love you guys so much. Never forget, at the end of the day, without regrets, love yourself. And be you, Tipple. Bye, guys.